Hi everyone. Today we're going to be scrapping this computer power supply. Uh, if you'd like to see how to take apart a computer tower, I have that uh, video online as well. Uh, these come in a few different sizes. Uh, basically, what they consist of is basically is very similar. You'll see the fan on one side. You see a bunch of wires sticking out the other side. I'm going to start by taking off the screws. Uh, this particular one has four screws that are holding the, the shell together. And you'll see four screws holding the fan together. And if you want the plug and the switch out, put some screws there as well. Let's take these screws out that are holding the fan in place. Take out the four holding the shell together. That comes right off, as you can see, a little piece of steel. You can see all these wires inside. You can see the fan. It's loose now. The circuit board that's in here also has four screws that hold it in. Get those out of there. Firing out of the shell here. So you can see that bottom screw. And if you cut the wires from the switch and the plug in the back where the fan was, that should free the circuit board. One more. Okay. That's another piece of steel for us what you have left. Take the wire off this fan here. And you have a little fan motor. The next thing I would do is start chopping off all the wire to get them out of the way. And I'm sure I've got one around here that's already done. Okay, it looks like i got a couple of kits around here. Some different, different sized heat sinks basically the same as what they look like. This one has two transformers, this one has three. A lot of them that I, I've seen lately I see, have four. Different, st different style aluminum heat sinks there. That's the next thing I would do is take off the aluminum and then the, the uh, transformers. Uh, one like this where the, the screws for the heat sinks are in the middle you can just try and you can bend them, break the circuit board itself, so you, so you can get access to the screws. Whatever's easiest for you. It's all scrap, right? Doesn't matter if you break it. Uh, I'll give you an idea of some weights. Turn our scale on here. Close to something else. So we got a motor. We have a larger one with four transformers. Looking at seven and a half ounces. Two heat sinks from one. We got 3.6 ounces on that one. Got a bunch of wire. The one I cut out, cut out earlier. See if I can get most of that wire on the scale. Need a rough idea anyway. 4.1 ounces. And then you'll have some ferrite donuts that you can take the copper off of or you can put in with your motors. So this, this one had, had four in there. So with the ferrite, it's 3.9 ounces. And you can take off the IC chips. You can do that. But this one looks like this one had five. Actually, I think there might have been another long one. So that would, that would have been six. Yeah, it's hiding back here. Cut those off. One thing I would suggest when cutting the wiring off these is use a small pair of cutters. These, the smaller head here 
it's easier to get it get in between uh, the circuit components rather than the, the larger cutters. Uh, oh, we had some steel here. Those two pieces were 15.6 ounces. And, and that's really about it. So let me know if you have any questions. Good luck.